So it's been a long time since I've looked at this van in the way of actually converting it. So it's nice to actually come in it and look at it and think, wow, this is my van. Um, and actually get some work done on it because the T6 is done now. Um, so seven weeks I've been working on that. Uh, but now um, <clears throat> I'm going to have a little break. So I want to get this van done to a spec as quick as I can to basically go away and use it. So we can use it now. We're going to just chuck an air bed in. But I'm going to see how much I can get done and to see what stage you can get to just to help us um, feel a little bit more comfortable. A couple of things I do need to sort, um, like all these cables are just basically hanging loose now because these sticky pads have just basically lost their adhesive. Um, normally these cables are sort of, they sat on there and they've got these, these pads on uh, but they're held in place because of the insulation and the roof and the cladding but because it's been so long that they've just been sat here uh, with nothing up against them they've decided to drop down so in terms of where we actually got to on this van uh, because it's been a while um, we actually got both windows in two sliding windows at the front um, we've got the bulkhead um, cut and positioned uh, we've got all the floor on the floor insulation we've got all the body um recycled plastic insulation throughout so that's all done as well um we've got some carpeting done uh, the back doors got the dodo mat on the inserts and we've got the inserts to put in so we've still got the uh, 50 mil insulation to put in the roof and the bubble wrap and stuff like that so there's plenty to do there is plenty to be getting on with yeah, so I've got plenty done um, on it before, but just want to get on with it now and want to make it start looking a bit more like a camper van. So without further ado, let's get this van done. So how I've done the bulkhead is, the shelf bit has been um, carpeted out of the van on both sides, you through here. Inside of the cab, this bottom bit, bear in mind this is in four pieces, so there's a bottom bit, there's these two side bits, and then there's the top bit. I should say five pieces because of the shelf, but as a face, the bulkhead is in four one two three four so like i said we've carpeted the um shelf uh, on both sides we've carpeted the single pieces on this side so this joint here you'll not see now because we've just cut that straight and it's just nicely together this bit we need to cut after we have carpeted on this side so we fastened all the bulkhead together with the pocket holes there so you've got one two three four on these two uh, these are just screwed into a wooden batten there these are screwed uh what have we got in here can't count five screws uh, on this bit into the shelf and then we've got three each side there and down at the bottom we are pocket old so that's nice and solid now so what we're going to do is one piece of carpet, we're going to carpet all this side in one piece. This is going to look amazing.
today I'm just doing the uh, roof insulation 50 mil um, Kingspan type insulation we've got all sound deadening in we've had that in for a while so just put in this um, this piece here for basically for cladding to attach from that bit to that bit and all the way down van but we're gonna infill um, we're gonna infill all this first with 50 mil um, we'll then go over with this bubble wrap uh, over the top but basically that's on that window because we had um, a few days away in Wales uh, bedding back um, things like that and yeah it was good so but yeah back on with this let's get this cracked off um, and get this roof insulated <laughs> decided to fit the solar panels uh, yesterday before putting the insulation is in um, is because basically I thought the, the brackets for these solar panels um, you just basically screw down through the roof and also use a bonding agent so we've done that but I thought if I get them solar panels up and I screw down through the roof although they sealed really well and they're going to last and they're not going to leak i just thought why the hell not get some sealing on the inside as well just as a bit of uh, an extra precaution so i thought get solar panels up get them all in and then we'll seal that inside so that's exactly what we did so you can just see um here i've just put a little bit of uh, sealing around each one of these and then I've just done that around every one. So yeah, I'm gonna get uh, these insulation boards up now. Um, I use these like adhesive stick pins, what basically just uh, stick to the roof like that. And you push the insulation up. I don't really want that there, but it's staying now. <laughs> So yeah, you push your insulation up uh, and that'll hold your insulation to the roof if you've got a period of time between you cladding over it or putting some ply over or whatnot over top, whatever you're putting over. So it'll hold it in place. Um, but yeah, let's, I'm going to crack on, get that insulation in and then we'll have a look at what we're going to do next um, and we'll go from there. <laughs> 